Now the whole crew is talking about the zucchini and pickles. <laughs> have you ever had one? I don't know that I have. I haven't. I mean, I've had um, pickled cucumber. I, I assume they're similar only with zucchinis. I've had pickles and I've had zucchini. Worlds are colliding now. Not the mashup, though. So. Yeah, not the mashup. What do you do with all that zucchini? We're going to find out because Mary is with us on the show. If you rock your zucchini world. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mary DeBinion. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to be making one of my favorite recipes using one of my favorite vegetables, zucchini. But before we get started with the recipe, I want to tell you a little bit about zucchini and why I actually really like it. Number one, it's available all year round with peak season in the summer. So honestly, you can walk into the grocery store in the middle of December and find zucchini. The other really cool thing about zucchini is that you can use it in so many different ways. You can eat it raw with a relish plate. You can kind of peel it with a vegetable peeler and add it to a salad. But stir fry, saute, grill, bake it. And you, I used to do, when my kids were little, I used to shred it and sneak it into a couple of little recipes and add some veggies to their day. And they never knew. So that's one of the really cool things about zucchini. But in terms of nutrition, you can't really beat it. It is low fat, it's low sodium, it's low cholesterol, and in about a cup of zucchini, it's only 25 calories. The other really cool thing with zucchini is this really dark green color found in the pigment. That tells you it's high in a certain antioxidant called lutein. And we know that lutein really helps promote eye health, and it actually can reduce our risk for macular degeneration. All right, so those are all the benefits about zucchini and one of the reasons I like it. So the recipe we're gonna make today is zucchini pickles. Yep, you heard me, zucchini pickles. They're just every bit as delicious as the cucumber counterpart, but really easy to make. So when you have a lot of zucchini on hand, you're not sure what to do, think about this particular recipe. Three basic ingredients, zucchini, garlic, and onions. Let's start with our zucchini. Number one, you definitely want to slice it as thin as possible. I like to go as thin as about one eighth inch slices. So you want about a total of four cups of zucchini. Once you have all of that sliced, add it to a glass bowl. So we're kind of going to put it in our bowl. The other thing we want to add some really thinly sliced sweet onion. I love to use Vidalia onions in this type of recipe. So I've already got them sliced. We're going to add them again to our zucchini. And the last ingredient is garlic. I like to use three cloves of garlic, but if you want more or less, this is where you can kind of sort of use your own preference. All right, so we put that all in the glass bowl, and now here comes sort of what I call the sweet sauce. You can use any kind of pickling sort of liquid that you've used for other recipes, but if you're willing to try something a little bit different, I have a sweet and spicy version that I like to pour over these uh, slices of zucchini. We first start with a cup of white vinegar, so add that to your saucepan. followed by half a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of mustard seeds, and then here's where the spice comes in. I've got about three quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper. So again, you can kind of improvise here if you need to do, use a little bit less. And then we're gonna use about three quarter teaspoon of salt, so we're gonna add that. Add that all into your saucepan, stir it up, and bring this to a boil. So once that sugar dissolves, you are ready to pour that liquid over on top of your zucchini onion mixture. Put the lid on and in the refrigerator it goes for about 24 hours. So it has to chill for about 24 hours. And the next day you have this wonderful concoction of zucchini pickles. And like I said, it's one of my favorite recipes. The crunch, the flavor, I tell you what, there's really nothing like this. I like to put it on a sandwich or eat it just like that. Mmm, totally delicious. Hopefully you've enjoyed this recipe and try with your friends and family. I'm Mary with Lifestyle Indie.